Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Girl's Oddities and Adventures. I am Crazy Girl. Go figure. All right, so want to thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys showing up, watching my content, smashing that like button. Um, thank you. Also, I want to throw a shout out to my new subscribers. We have Moon and Fire Dybbuk, Spirit Bayou, Rob X Carl and Fitzy. Thank you guys for all being here and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This girl really, really appreciates it. Um, now if you guys can just keep smashing that like button and hitting that share, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, guys. So today we're gonna I'm going to introduce you to a couple dolls that I got last weekend. Um, went to a flea market, and it's one of the flea markets that has the uh, storage units. So going through the storage units, we get to about the third storage unit. And at this point, I haven't found anything, nothing that has tickled my fancy in any way. So, get to the third one, walking around, walking around, and I'm still seeing nothing. Get ready to walk out, and the lady stops and says, is there something in particular you're looking for? Um, I, in general, I said, you know, I'm looking for old dolls. I collect old dolls. I said, I prefer the composition dolls, but I'll look at what you got. She said, well, I don't have any here, but I have two at the house. She said that she bought them from a at an, an estate sale and that the, the previous owner had passed away. And she had had these dolls for a very, very long time. They were called the twins. And from the time that she had gotten them, they had never been separated. So, and supposedly one's good and one's bad. So she's telling me this story and I'm like, okay, all right, all right. So I told her, she says, I'm not sure if you want them. They've been known to move positions. She's heard sounds in the house, uh, footsteps, just odd things, lights going on going off so in my mind i'm thinking you know it i don't i have no idea but you know i'll take a look at them so i told her i said you know i'll tell you what tomorrow sunday i asked her if she would be there and she said yes and i told her i said i'll tell you what you bring the dolls up i'll come up and i'll take a look at them so Sunday comes about, I get up and I head that way and I couldn't stop thinking about these dolls all night long. I couldn't stop thinking about, you know, the way they could look, um, what could they possibly carry along with them? You know, is what she's telling me the case or is it just imagination from a prior story that was told? <laughs> so I get there and she's talking to a lady and I'm patiently waiting. I'm like in no hurry. So she comes up and she's like, Oh, hi, sweetheart. How are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. And did you bring the dolls? She's like, yes, I did. So she hollers at her husband who was in the car and she had told him, Hey, come on out, bring the girls or bring the twins. And, um, he comes out with this bag and it's got a couple dolls in it. And I hear him hollering at a guy, a couple of booths away and he holds up the dolls and he's looking at the guy like, yay, finally, I'm getting rid of these things. So he brings them into the booth and she's continues to tell me that she has had these dolls put away because she didn't want anybody to mess with them due to, you know, the activity that had been going on from them. 
so and the, the the husband the whole time is like, I really wish somebody would take these off my hands. They're, you know, I can't take the I can't take the stuff that's going on. I can't worry about my kids getting into where they're at and getting them out and more stuff taking place. So I grabbed the bag and I set it down and I pulled one out and I'm looking at her. I always investigate. Let's make sure they got 10 fingers. They've got their legs. Everything's attached. Um, I want to see if there's any markings on them. Um, any defects. I want to see anything or I want to see everything. So I know what I'm getting myself into. Well. Anyway, she said, once you pull out these dolls and you physically touch them, she said that you're going to understand why, her words, once you touch these dolls, you're going to understand why I can't keep them in my home. You're going to feel it. Well, I didn't feel anything when I touched these dolls. I literally physically went over them. I lifted up the dresses. I checked the body. I wanted to see what the stuffing was. Um, make sure legs are attached. Make sure feet are uh, together. You know, there's no cracks. There's no broken spots. Again, make sure they have all 10 fingers. So I pull out the first one. I'm looking at her. Okay, so she's got all five fingers or all four fingers and a thumb on this hand. Looks good. Nothing wrong with it. By the way, guys, we're going to consider this one twin one. So looking over at the other arm. Okay. So nothing wrong with that. She's got all five of or all four of her fingers and her thumb. So I lift up the dress. I'm looking at the legs. I really like it. The shoes and the socks are painted on. I ain't got to worry about them falling off. This little one here has a tendency of losing her little shoes. And I, then I, when I move them around, then they have, I have to look around for it. So anyway, these are painted on. Looks really good. They're attached. Little firing flaw in the leg right here. Not an issue. Not an issue. So. Let me put them both up, twin one and twin two. Sorry, their hairs are a mess. I gotta get some little bows. I'm gonna fix their hair or some little clips. So you can actually see their pretty little faces because they are little, they're pretty little things. But, so twin one, oh, wait, twin one. Yeah, twin one, twin two. So, as I set twin one down to the side so that I could investigate, because I didn't put them back in the bag, not one for, you know, if there's spirit, if there's a spirit attached, how horrible do you think it would be to be thrown in a bag and carried around? No, I wasn't staying anyway. I was just grabbing them and leaving. So twin number two, I pull her out of the bag. I'm looking at her. Okay, so her head looks good. You know, face, everything looks good. Needs a little cleaning. That's about it. So anyway, get to looking at her hands and wow, something really weird. Okay, so I'm feeling, sorry guys, my fingernail is a little dirty. I am been working in the yard today. So I'm feeling the hands. Everything feels fine. You can feel the fingers. You can feel the thumb. And you can feel the limb. And it's all, it's nothing's broken or I'd be able to smush it. So check to the other one. Okay. So the other one's the same way. All right. Well. The limbs are fine. Let's see. 
Look inside, you can see she's got all of her fingers. I don't want to undo it. Because I got a feeling that it's there for a reason. So I'm thinking, okay, I already got things running in my head about what this is about. So I'm like, okay. Oh, that's right. I pulled those up. Okay. So you look at her feet. They're the same way. Okay. You can feel the, I got to be careful because there's pins in here too. You can feel that the legs are just fine. There's nothing broken. You can see the shoes. Everything's fine. That's just a glare, guys. That's not a, see, it's just a glare from the light. So this one's the same way. Nothing wrong with them. And they got pins sticking through right here. So my first thought, which I didn't say it, at the moment, but I'm thinking it to myself that, okay, so whoever owned these girls prior knew something about witchcraft. And if it's true that one is good and one is bad, I'm going to assume this is the bad one because for me, it looks as though her hands and her feet have been bound. Um, what that means could mean anything. Is it possible that she would like to scratch, hit, kick, um, you know, have some kind of malicious intent? Did they bind her for that? I'm going to say yes. I mean, I don't know why else anybody would bind her unless she was of some set, some threat, which again would be the same reason because this one's bound. This one is not. So I've had them for just a little over a week now. And I did try to do an overnight investigation where I left the camera running and I turned everything off. There was nothing on in my sunroom. Um, I don't have a ceiling fan in here. I have a chandelier that hangs down with lights. Well, I got this weird noise. I will play a clip for you guys. It's a very long clip or it's not a very, I'm not going to include the long clip. I'm just going to include part of it. Um, what had happened was my camera for some reason would record 25 minutes in one second, shut off and start up again. So I had 18, 25 point one second videos that I've had to go through. And I did do that. I have found orbs on there and I've got a strange noise. Uh, but I could not, I, I'm not going to make you guys listen to that noise for a long period of time. I do believe that this noise, I knowing that I don't know where it came from, and it sounds like there's a helicopter hovering over my house, like it goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back. If that was the case, this guy has, or this person has nothing better to do than hover over my house. And where I live, we only get airplanes out here maybe once, twice a month, they would never just hover over. It's more like a life flight. They're just kind of fly, flying through. So I don't know what this noise is, but I am going to add a little clip for you of a part of my nighttime overnight investigation. Also, another thing that I am going to do is three investigations on these girls. 
I'm going to do the first one with them both together. And then I'm going to do one each separately. And since the story is that they've never been separated, that they've always been together, that I'm going to see what happens if we separate them for a little bit. Um, I guess we will see. So also guys, um, let me know in the comments below what you think that noise is. And I'm going to add some little clips. They're just going to be little shorts this week of the orbs. As soon as I replay all of these videos again and find them again. So I just have to play it on mute because I can't, that noise just gave me tremendous headaches. So I don't want that to happen to you guys. So again, it's just going to be a, a short clip. Maybe I could find one that has the orb in it and let you guys see for yourself and tell me what you think below. Also, give me your opinion on what you think about separating them and doing an investigation on them that way as well. And let's see, is there anything else, guys? Anything else? Oh, guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I am up to right now, as I speak, I am up to 50 subscribers, guys, 50. And I have the, the most amazing subscribers. So I'm happy to be where I'm at. I'm happy to be here with you guys. And, oh, hey, by the way, um, I think my first investigation on the twins, I'm going to do live with you guys. Or let me know if you would like for me to do all three video or all three investigations live with you. Let me know. All right, guys. Thank you. Hey, I hope you all had a great Memorial Day. Bye, guys. Love you. Much respect. Have a great evening. See ya.